Hey guys, Rob, Sigma 3. Thanks for joining me today for another series in our, our wild and uh, plants and medicinal plant series. And as most of you know, I'm in the process of writing a book. It's a slow process. We've got TV stuff going on. The school's expanding like crazy. So as I get time to do these things, I'll come out and share this knowledge with you. Um, the plant we're going to talk about today, as you can see right behind me, is dogbane. And the reason that dogbane is such an excellent uh, plant to know is because it's probably one of the best overall cordages you can get, or uh, natural cordage making plant, which means it has a lot of fibers in it that make it a whole lot better for uh, wrapping up uh, cordage in a quick manner. Um, another thing that it's fantastic for is it's full of uh, latex, which can be used as for skin and topical issues. You can put it on warts, um, you can put it on cuts, you can put it on all kinds of things to um, help deal with external skin problems. Um, probably the biggest thing I use it for is, is cuts in the woods. Uh, the latex acts as a coating over any kind of scrape or cut and will not only disinfect, uh, but will also help keep your wound clean. So as you can see, there is a whole lot of sap that comes out of dogbane, and that's wonderful cut for cuts, warts, um, any kind of external skin conditions. I use this fairly often. The important thing to remember about dogbane is that while it is an exceptional cordage, it's only good at certain times of the year. Early when it's first growing, like in this stage, it's really only good for its medicinal values, um, you know, putting on the skin. But later in the season, as things begin to dry out, it, um, the fibers become a whole lot more workable. And it becomes probably one of the strongest natural cordages you can get out there with one of the highest rot resistance uh, levels of any natural cordage, which means I can use this type of cordage for primitive fishing um, and it will last longer than a lot of other types of cordage out there. Um, this is just a few of the things that you can use this plant for. Um, every medicinal plant out there or uh, utilitarian plant typically has tons of uses. Just go out there and, and see if you can't find some dogbane in your local area. Don't confuse it for milkweed. Do a little bit of research and uh, look at the differences between milkweed and dogbane. Um, you know, like alternate versus opposite leaves and stalk differences and things like that so that you don't misidentify it. A lot of people think that uh, dogbane in its initial stages is uh, milkweed and they take it home and try to eat it, um, you know, after parboiling it and it, it tastes horrible. And, and dogbane is poisonous. It, these latex are not meant to be ingested internally, so, um, you know, don't take it home and, and, and make it a, a pot green or anything crazy like that. So, um, just get out there, try this stuff, guys. I mean, wild edibles will consume your life. Um, it will change your life. Being able to make your own medicine and procure the things that you need in your local area will make you so much more independent. Uh, I mean, I haven't been to a doctor in, in 10 years, and I'm proud to say that because I do keep up with my health, um, you know, and anytime I do feel something coming on, I always know of some type of uh, medicinal plant that I can do to, you know, help me deal with that before uh, a sickness even occurs. And I've really only been sick about once in the last 10 years, praise God. Um, you know, knock on wood, all that good stuff. But um, I've had pretty phenomenal luck, and I think that uh, a lot of that is due to uh, this knowledge of plants and how the body works and how we absorb things and how our ancestors evolved and, and the medicines and things that they created. I mean, most people don't know it, but the top three oldest living societies out there, on average, are primitive societies. And that is essentially because their food is their medicine, and they make all their own medicine. So uh, this is definitely a skill set that you've got to have. 